This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the ballpark and Jason Shepard. Well, BYU will face a new pitcher, but with the same last name. From Justin Armbruster to Will Armbruster, and I actually called Justin Will for, I think, the first inning. Will is the freshman, Justin the junior, and Justin's day is done. Will, his afternoon is just beginning against the BYU Cougars. He will face BYU here in the top of the seventh inning. The Lobos, after leading two to nothing, after the first inning, added another run in the bottom of the six. It's now three nothing New Mexico. And leading things off for BYU in the seventh inning, the left fielder, Hayden Latham. All right, it's that seventh inning magic. Here we go. Here we go. Big things expected. First pitch from Will Armbruster inside strike one. Hayden's been hit by a pitch. And ground it out. The 0-1. Ooh, change up. Looks at strike two, and now Latham behind. No balls and two strikes. That's the one thing about when you, you're facing a guy for the first time and he comes in, you don't have a ton of, he hasn't had a ton of innings this year, so you don't have a ton of information on him. So kind of up there just hoping you, you get something good to hit and be on time. Will Armbruster from Sammamish, Washington. 0-2 pitch. Good battle. Latham stays alive, gets a piece. Still 0-2. 3 nothing Lobo lead here in the top of the seventh inning. Game one of a doubleheader. Lobos took the first game of the series last night. The 0-2 pitch. Ground ball to the shortstop. Thomas Rivera, high throw. And Latham hustling out of the box is going to be safe at first. They're going to say Landers came off the bag. And that'll be Hayden Latham on base to begin the top of the seventh inning. And we we joke about this, just what offense. And now the leadoff man is on here in the top, uh, or excuse me, the top of the seventh inning. Sometimes, Shep, that's all it takes, right? Did they give that a hit? They did, uh, right? That's, that's what I'm looking at yeah. to see if they scored that a hit or if that would be an error. Well, when you're coming as far as the shortstop had to go to make that play, it and has they, to be a perfect throw. They did give it a hit. Yeah. So Hayden Latham will, Hayden will take it. is going to get a base hit out of that. And now Austin Deming at the plate. Looks at ball one from Will Armbruster. 3 nothing Lobos. The 1-0 pitch to Deming. Swing and a miss. Now one ball and one strike. Good swing right there. Healthy hack. I like it when the hitters are taking aggressive swings at fastballs. You keep doing that and good things are usually going to happen. After the base hit from Latham, three hits on the day for the Cougars. The 1-1 pitch to Deming. Ooh, ball's in. Way inside, but call ball two. Or excuse me, strike two. I don't know how Austin is supposed to swing at that. Yeah, for sure. It's in on his hands. And now 1-2 count to Deming. Armbruster delivers. Good Low take. for ball two. Latham at first. Nobody out. Deming at the plate. Come on, damn big knock right here. Find a hole. Pitch on its way. Hits off the bat of Austin Deming and foul. The count stays. Two you, strikes. You hate that as a hitter, Shep. <laughs> You're like, man, it's a ball, dang it. But, it, I mean, I get why he's checking at that because he's called that inside strike quite a bit today. One ball, two strike count to Deming. Cougars trying to get something going here in the top of the seventh, trailing 3-0. The 1-2 pitch to Austin, swing and a miss. And the first strikeout for Will Armbruster and the first out of the inning in the top of the seventh. Now batting number 43, Jared Hall. Yeah, just kept that fastball ele elevated right there, and Deming just swung right through it. Jared Hall will be the hitter, and he's been on base 
in his previous two plate appearances, hit by pitch in the second inning and then a double in the fifth. He was left stranded at third. Did not score. Ground ball back up the middle by Jaron. A little slow roller. Hey, and Thomas Rivera can't yeah. glove it. And Hall will beat it out. He had so much spin on that. You actually saw it bounce three different ways. It went from left to right to back to left. I knew once he tried to make that play barehanded, it was going to be a tough play with how much it was spinning. He put so much English on that. Just when you hit it off the end of the bat like that, you never know what's going to happen. And another break for the Cougs right there and a chance to, to score a run here. Jaron Hall. Been on base in all three plate appearances. He has been a nice spark for BYU since coming in midway through the game last night. I think it's about time Cowden hits his first career college home run, don't you think, Jeff? I think that would be fantastic. Or a rollover in the four hole. I'm okay with two. <laughs> <laughs> two base hits for the Cougars here. One out. Cowden swing and a miss. Strike one. Hard to tell if that was a fastball or a changeup. He's got really good downhill tilt with his height. Comes over the top. Big gap in right center that's open right now. One out. BYU runners at first and second. The pitch to Cowden. Chopped down the first base side and it will roll foul. And now counting behind, no balls and two strikes. That one looked like another changeup right there. So he's down 0-2, right? Down 0-2. And in this inning, the secret to success has been hitting it to short. Yeah. So maybe he can see if and, he can and hit it to hit short. And not hit very hard. And not hit very yeah. hard, that's right. You know, we talked about this multiple times about got something going on over here umpires are getting together i saw one of the umpires was talking to somebody in the dugout and then now all now four all umpires, umpires are coming together that's right coach birmingham now is walking towards them i don't know if something was said yeah they're all four huddling up well and the home plate umpire showing the safe sign Not quite sure what was discussed. I don't know. I think there's some chirping going on. I see Coach Pratt talking to the first baseman about something. Here we go, Josh. 0-2 oh, count. Two Find count. A way. Find a way. One out. There is a runner at scoring position. Two on. Runners at first and second for BYU. Down 3-0. The 0-2 oh, pitch to Cowden. Popped up on the infield. To the shortstop. Tough son there. Kimwell Thomas Rivera giving way to the left fielder. Schneider called off Thomas Rivera, who had moved up and makes the play. And now two away here in the top of the seventh. Brock Watkins will be the batter with two outs. Still runners at first and second for BYU. Well, it looks like we're going to pinch hit here. Brian Call is going to come in, number eight. Brian's been really successful this year coming in pinch hitting. It's a good matchup for him. Now pinch hitting, number eight, Brian Call. He's always come in and done a really good job of just having competitive at-bats every time he comes in off the bench. Seems like he's a guy who's who's used to that role and it comes in pretty, just comes in ready. This will be his 16th at-bat, hitting 267. Has one double, two RBI, and walked five times. Now the pitching coach for the Lobos will make the slow walk out to the pitcher's mound to talk with the freshman, it's Will like Armbruster. It's like they're going to the pen. They are. They're going to make a pitching change. Lobos will have a new guy facing the pinch hitter, Brian Call. We'll take a break. It's 3-0 Lobos on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin Jason Shepard. Number 43, Matt Haley, the new pitcher for the Lobos. Just his second appearance on the season. He's pitched two innings. He's given up one hit. No runs. Well, it looks like uh, Coach Little was going to counteract that and pull call from the from the batter's box and bring in Abe Valdez to pinch hit. Abe Valdez will now be the hitter. I tell you what, Abe last year was so, so big for us as a pinch hitter. He'd come in a ton in games. 
and, and get big time hits. And they weren't just hits, they were doubles. Remember the big double against Oregon, he had a big double against Pacific to tie the game in the ninth. Just big at bat after big at bat. So see if he can hit another double right here. A double would be a fantastic outcome with this at bat, with BYU down 3 nothing and runners at first and second and two outs. Because the double is going to score two runs with Jaron Hall's speed at first. Yep. Here we go. Haley is a freshman from Crowley, Texas, 6'2", 175, and he's a lefty. Facing Abe Valdez. First pitch to Abe. Check swing. Good tag. Ball one. Now if you're Abe, he's seen that curveball now. Threw it for a ball. You're ahead in the count. Be on time for a fastball right here. If he throws you a fastball middle in, hammer that ball over third. Latham at second. Jaron Hall at first. Two outs. BYU down 3-0 here in the top of the seventh with two outs. Haley delivers the 1-0 to Valdez. Get legs. Get going. Get Popped going. Popped up get into going. the gap in right center. Oh, the right wow. fielder, Harry Fullerton, on the move, makes the play, and robs Abe Valdez of a hit and an RBI. The Cougars retired in the top of the seventh. No run score. It's 3 nothing Lobos on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to Cougar Baseball alongside Tuckett Slade. Here's Jason Shepard. Carter Smith out for another inning of work here in the bottom of the seventh. It's 3 nothing Lobos facing Kyler Castillo. First pitch to Castillo. Misses outside for ball one. Zach Peterson, now playing third base, will hit in the eighth spot in the order for BYU. Taking over for Brock Watkins. The 1-0 pitch, way outside, now 2-0 to Castillo. Man, Shep, talk about the Lobo outfielders. They've stole three runs, Yes, right? they have. Peyton Cole's flare into left. If that drops, we scored a run earlier in the game. And then that double in the gap scores two that on a full sprint, Full extension, he catches that ball to save two runs. Ground ball by Castillo to Pintar at short, over to first. And Castillo is retired for the first out on the bottom of the seventh. Number 13, center fielder, Connor Mang. Connor Mang will be the hitter facing the freshman Carter Smith. One out, nobody on. Well, we couldn't get that hitter out today, so it's nice to get that Castillo out. On yeah, the first. Castillo on base with a walk. On base with a base hit, and then on base with a double. Finally retired. And now Connor Mang has an RBI triple, a single, and then a strikeout. Strike one from Carter Smith to Connor Mang. And now Smith ahead, no balls and one strike. Three nothing lead for the Lobos. The 0 1 pitch misses away. And low, ball one. This first game has, has been without the wind gust that we saw yesterday. 1 1 pitch taken for strike two. And since my app is cooler than your app, Shep, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I can't believe you just use a generic Apple weather. I know I don't. I use I have that. No. I have that and I don't know if we're supposed to be giving these guys no. the uh, the pub, no but pub. A, no but a certain pub. insect swaying and a miss. Carter Smith Great pitch. strikes out Connor Mang. It's saying it at two fifteen. It is sixty degrees and calm. I love now that. Number 29, I like Harris. it. And it says that at 3 o'clock, 1 mile an hour. At 4, 2. And at 5, 1. At 6, 5 miles an hour. And at 7, 4 miles an hour. So it could be a calm night tonight. But tomorrow, at that first pitch, is, is back up towards 10 miles an hour. So Well, this has been a welcomed surprise after yesterday. Oh, absolutely. First pitch fouled off by Harry Fullerton, who was... Just played a fantastic right field and took a run off the board for BYU there in the top of the seventh inning. There was no fault step. He went on the perfect route to the, in the right angle, fully stretched out, and made that play, saving two runs. 
two swing and a miss sure by Fuller because team. Abe would have had a double. Absolutely. And who knows? Could have had a few uh, another one. But uh, man, two big time outfield plays right now are the difference. No balls, two strikes to Harry Fullerton. Two outs and nobody on. Smith on the mound. Carter delivers the 0-2 outside for ball one. Yeah, and Carter's looking really sharp today. Yes, he is. This is the best he's looked on the mound in this uniform, and it's great to see that. And I mentioned a few minutes ago, you, you look at the overall young relievers on this staff. They've done a great job to start the year. 1-2 pitch. Misses low. Two balls and two strikes. The back end of the bullpen has done a really nice job. Well, inside they did a good job, too. Absolutely. He, after giving up those two runs in the first, you know, he settled down and, and cruised a little bit, and he pitched out a few jams, and it's nice to see him do that. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball to Cole at second. Gloves, throws, nice job. and they get him just in time. The Lobos are retired in the bottom of the seventh. Top of the eighth after this. 3 nothing Lobos on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Peyton Cole leading off the top of the eighth inning for BYU, down 3 nothing. Facing Matt Haley, the first pitch to Cole, outside ball one. The number nine, one and two hitters here in the top of the eighth. Came in to face Abe last time, and it's the first lefty we've seen in the Lobos pitching staff. And he's a freshman. Pitch way inside. Two balls and no strikes. Might give Peyton just a straight take right here. Looking for base runners right now. That's the key. Absolutely. You gotta get you gotta get guys on. See if you can create some offense here. Yep. You got your top of the lineup coming up. If it hasn't been the seventh, it's been the eighth where the bats have come alive. 2-0 pitch and Cole taken all the way. Strike one. Well, here you go. Now you bear down. Two balls and one strike to the second baseman, Peyton Cole. 2-1 delivered, swing and a miss, and now 2-2 two and two to Cole. Well, now he's into the breaking ball count. He's got to sit everything away here. Look away and just find a way to slap it into left field. Keep that front shoulder tucked. The 2-2 two -two from Haley. Swing and a miss, and Cole strikes out. One away in the top of the eighth. Well, reared back and fired right there. Fastball blew it right by him. A little confidence out there, young freshman. Absolutely. Andrew Look. Pintar at the plate now facing the freshman, Matt Haley. Andrew, 0 for 3 on the day. Not anymore. Line drive over the shortstop and into left field. That'll be a base hit for Andrew Pintar. And with one out, BYU has a base runner. First base with Pintar. And it looks like uh, Jacob Rogers is going to pinch hit for Nyberg. You go to the righty. And, and Hobbs kind of struggled today. Jacob Rogers making his first appearance of the ball game. Not batting number 16, Jacob Rogers. Raj, the sophomore from Las Vegas. The Lobo pitching coach is going to go out and have a conversation. In fact, they're going to make a call to the pen. Be a Lobo pitching change. It's 3-0 New Mexico. But BYU with a runner on first and only one out here in the top of the eighth on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Baseball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Now back to the ballpark and Jason Shepard. The Lobos bring in their version of Mitch McIntyre, number 36, Terrell Hudson. BYU saw Hudson as a hitter in the first doubleheader in Arizona, and now he's going to take the mound. He's a 6'4", 245 freshman out of Phoenix. As a pitcher, he comes in. It's his third appearance, an ERA of 386. He's pitched two and a third, given up one hit, one run. It was earned. One walk and three strikeouts. Big well, big guy. Well, big spot here for Rodgers to get his first hit as a Coug this early season. 6-4 against 6-4 here. First pitch to Rodgers. Called strike one. 
BYU down 3-0. There's one out. Pintar is at first base after getting a base hit to left field. It's the fifth hit of the day for BYU, but still no runs. Cougars looking to change that here in the top of the eighth. The 0-1 pitch to Rodgers in the dirt. And a great block by Gonzalez. Pintar will stay at first base. Well, you obviously know what his best pitch is. He comes in and throws two sliders in a row. One ball, one strike, and one out. Runner on first for the Cougars. Jacob Rogers at the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Popped up and out of play. One ball and two strikes now to Raj. Well, first time seeing that fastball. Got to look fastball away here, and you're going to adjust to the off speed and just find a way to put him in play. Center field's playing deep. The corners are not, not very deep. Infield normal double play depth. Mitch McIntyre on deck for BYU. The 1 2 count to Rogers. Hudson steps off and looks over at first. A lot of confidence, Raj. Find a way, a little line drive back up the middle. Try and put a couple of hits together and see if you can cut into the 3 0 lead. Hudson with a 1 2 pitch to Rogers. Low once again, evening the count at two balls and two strikes. Well, you got Mitch McIntyre on deck and then Latham, you're, you know, two power type bats and RBI guys that you'd love to have two base runners on when those two guys are up. Rogers steps back into the batter's box. Awaits the 2 2 pitch. One out and a runner on first. And the 2 2 pitch to Rogers. Got in on the hands. Raj stays alive and fouls it back right above where we're at here in front of the press box. Boy, did he ever get on his hands right there. Good battle, though. The count remains. Two balls and two strikes. The batter, the sophomore, Jacob Rogers from Las Vegas. Rogers wearing number 16. Hudson on the mound, delivers the 2-2. Ooh. Way inside, almost to the point yeah, that I, I thought, thought it, it was all it was for sure gonna hit Jacob, but Yeah, I was about to say, I was about to say. Oh great great job getting hit there. <laughs> and I don't know how it missed him. Yeah, I, honestly I don't either. It yeah. looked like it was going to directly hit him either in the lower back or maybe in the back of the leg. Now a full count to Raj. One out. Pintar at first. The payoff pitch from Hudson. Chopped foul. Nice tried, at bat here by Raj. Yeah, tried to go in on his hands again there, too. Go ahead and win this, Raj. Get a little life in that dugout. You go ahead and win this, and you get Mitch up with two guys on. Things get really interesting. Rogers is such a nice guy. You want to see him have yeah. some success here. Sometimes he's too nice. I want a little more mean and nasty in there, right? You, you want a little You want a little angry, yeah. Jacob Rogers? Yeah, get up to the plate angry sometimes. How about an angry two-run home run here? I'd just take a hit, anything. <laughs> Could it be an angry one, though? Yes, it can. All right. 3-2 count, one out, runner at first. Hudson with another payoff pitch to Rogers. Popped up near first base. It will be the second baseman, Watari, near the line to make the catch and retire Rogers for the second out of the inning. Well, he got a good pitch to hit there. Fastball looked like it was pretty much down the middle. Just got under it. Put a good swing on it, though. He had a good battle. And now with two outs and a runner on first, Mitch McIntyre. Will be the hitter. They do have a lefty in the pen. <laughs> McIntyre today 0 for 3 with a strikeout. 3 0 lead for the Lobos. First pitch to McIntyre. Looks at strike one. McIntyre facing the freshman, Terrell Hudson. Pintar still at first, but now with two outs. The 0-1 pitch to McIntyre. Misses low and outside. One ball and one strike. 
Well, right fielder is shading him a little bit towards the gap. Center fielder as deep as he possibly can be. He's probably at 390 feet. That's where that center fielder is. That's how far away he is from home. Hudson gets the sign, sets, and delivers the 1-1 one -one to McIntyre. Oh Ground ball in the six hole and into left field. And that'll be a base hit for McIntyre, his first of the day. And with two outs, BYU now with runners at first and second. It's amazing when you just put the ball in play, good things can happen. That was a good job there. Mitch didn't try to pull the ball. Yesterday he got a little pull happy and was trying to pull off everything. He just went the other way with that. Didn't hit it extremely hard, but he had a good swing on it and hit it in the open six hole there. And now we got two guys on with our leading home run king. That's Harold. right. Late them up. That's right. And in the seventh inning, had yep. a base hit. Yep. But if he were able to get his third home run, this game would be tied. Yes, it would. Two outs, runners on first and second, and they're going to keep Hudson in. I'm getting greedy. We're getting greedy asking for a home run when really we just need a single. Absolutely. Just just hit your teammates around. They're deep. Every single outfielder is deep right now. So even if you hit a jam shot, it's most likely going to gonna fall for a hit. Just put a good swing on it. Be on time to fastball right here, Hade. The first pitch to Latham on its way. Inside corner, strike one. Wasn't sure if that was down. Game two of our doubleheader will begin 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one. Two outs, two on. The 0 1 pitch to Latham. Ground ball to the shortstop. Thomas Rivera gloves, throws to Landers at first. And BYU retired in the top of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth after this, it's 3 nothing New Mexico on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. For more BYU baseball, let's rejoin Jason Shepard. Kyle Landers leading off the bottom of the eighth inning. His Lobos leading the Cougars 3 nothing. Two runs in the first for New Mexico, one run in the bottom of the sixth. Carter Smith, first pitch to Landers. Turns on that ball, and that is hit deep over the right field fence. And that's a solo home run for Kyle Landers. And it's now 4 0 New Mexico. Yeah, that, that ball was absolutely tattooed right there. Fastball middle in, and he just threw the barrel down, and he started walking to first base. He, he knew, knew right at the point of impact that that ball was gone. 4 0 New Mexico. Nobody out. Now batting, number 21, shortstop. Kimwell, Kimwell Thomas, Thomas Rivera. Rivera. Two strikeouts and reached on a fielder's choice. First pitch from Smith, taken for strike one. Eight hits now for the Lobos. BYU is six. The difference being New Mexico has been able to make some of their hits count for runs. One ball and one strike to Kimwell Thomas Rivera. Swing and a foul. Now one ball and two strikes. Yeah, it's not, not that we haven't had chances in this game, Ship. We've, you know, back to back innings, we had two guys on. Yep. And just couldn't get that, that big two out knock, which so far. The Lobos have been able to do today. One two pitch, ground ball to third. Peterson can't glove it. It bounced up and off of his glove and into left field. Thomas Rivera, though, thought about running to second, but will stop it first. That'll be a base hit for Kimwell Thomas Rivera. In the first two batters that Smith faced, one hit a home run, and the second. Getting a single, and now the left fielder, Adam Schneider, will be the batter with a runner on first and nobody out, leading 4 nothing. I'm sure he'll be bunning right here. Smith. It's the inside corner on Schneider, strike one.
Game four of the series will be tomorrow. Same start time as today, 12 o'clock Mountain Time. Tuck and I will have it for you here on the new skin BYU Sports Network. Bunt is foul and back to the screen by Schneider. I'm feeling like the next game could be another 14 inning game, so I might just leave you by yourself to have to talk for 14 <laughs> innings again. That was really mean of me, I will say. I'll admit that. Look, I will. Certainly, you never know that a yeah. game is going to go 14 innings. For sure. But. There were a couple of times where I almost sent you texts. Of just jerk? <laughs> the jerk store called. They're running out of you. Yeah. Great Seinfeld line. The 0-2 pitch, pitch. Swing and a miss. And Schneider strikes out for the first out of the inning. Really good changeup right there by Carter. One away here in the bottom of the eighth. The Lobos have added a run. They now Eric lead 4 nothing. They do have a runner on first. Music reminds me of uh, Cal Poly. The little, BP music. Get, get a little EDM going. Some electronics dance music. I really hate this kind of music. Not a fan. It's not on. It's not on your playlist. Throw over to first by Carter Smith. Thomas Rivera back and called safe. One out, one on. The batter is the catcher Jarrett Gonzalez, facing the freshman Carter Smith. Gonzalez looks at strike one from Smith. Ray has uh, he bluffed there at the runner at first. I thought might he might take off. Gonzalez is 0 for 3. Two ground outs and a strikeout. No balls and one strike. Smith delivers. It's the outside corner for strike two. You can hear some of the Lobo fans groaning with that call. And I agree with them. I'll take it, but I agree with them. The zone hasn't been the best zone today. No balls and two strikes to Gonzalez. The 0-2 pitch, pitch to Gonzalez. And the hit and run was on. Thomas Rivera was on the move. Gonzalez hit it foul. And the count remains no balls and two strikes. And Kimwell will have to run back to first. We're at Santa Ana Star Field in Albuquerque. Jason Shepard and Tuckett Slade. Bottom of the eighth, it's 4-0 New Mexico. The Lobos leading BYU. Quick throw over to first. Thomas Rivera back. This is game two of the series. Game one of a doubleheader. BYU dropped the first two games against the Lobos in Albuquerque, or rather in Arizona, and Lost the first game last night. Another throw over to first. Diving in safely is Kimwell Thomas Rivera. No balls and two strikes. Throw over to first. Tag is made, but Thomas Rivera sliding in safely. There's a fan out there that has an amazing opera voice. He keeps, every time Carter picks over, he's in in the opera voice. Boring. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Everyone's auditioning. 0-2 pitch. High time. That'll be a stolen base for Kimwell Thomas Rivera. And with one out, the Lobos have a runner in scoring position. Well, got to bear down right now. One thing the Lobos have been able to do at a very high clip is steal bags. They're now 13 of 14 on the season. 1-2 pitch. That's a strike. He's been calling it all day. Inside, called ball two. 
two and two to the catcher, Jarrett Gonzalez. Junior out of San Antonio. Came in hitting 500. The average down to 385. It does get limited at bats, however. Carter Smith looks back at second. Timeout called. The bottom of the eighth began with a solo home run by Kyle Landers and then a base hit by Kimwell Thomas Rivera. He then stole second base. And that's where we are now. Rivera, Thomas Rivera at second. One out. And the 2-2 pitch. Double line play. drive right at Pintar, who makes the play and then steps on the bag for the double play. The Lobos do add a run on a solo home run by Kyle Landers. They lead 4-0 heading to the top of the ninth on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to Cougar Baseball alongside Tuckett Slade. Here's Jason Shepard. BYU down to its final three outs. We're in the top of the ninth inning. It's 4-0 New Mexico. Game one of the doubleheader. Terrell Hudson, the freshman out of Phoenix, stays on the mound to pitch the top of the ninth, facing the number five, six, and seven hitters. Austin Deming will be the first batter he faces. The first pitch to Austin. Low for ball one. BYU with six hits, but have not crossed home plate yet. Four runs on nine hits for the Lobos. New Mexico with two runs in the first, one run in the sixth, and then a solo home run by Landers in the bottom of the eighth. The 1-0 pitch to Deming way inside. Two balls and no strikes to Austin. Deming struck out in his last plate appearance. Jaron Hall on deck, who has been phenomenal today. Been on base three times. Two balls, no strikes to Deming. The 2-0 from Hudson. Right down central for strike one. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out, nobody on here in the top of the ninth. It's 4-0 New Mexico. The 2-1 pitch inside for strike two. Deming thought about swinging, but thought the ball was too far in. But as we've seen throughout the game, that most times has been called a strike. Not always, which I think leads to some of the frustration. The 2-2 pitch, way inside, but yet called strike three. That pitch was way inside, yet they'll punch out Austin Deming. We've even got New Mexico fans shrugging their shoulders, not understanding where the strike zone is right now. Regardless, one away here in the top of the ninth. Chip, I'm just going to bite my tongue because I don't want us to get in trouble on the radio. Because I got some emotions right now that I want to let loose, and it's not pretty. (laughs) Jaron Hall. He didn't call that a strike? Why not? The exact same pitch that was hmm. just called strike three Interesting. was called ball one to Jaron Hall. Well, I guess umpires can have bad days too, right? One out, nobody on. One ball and no strikes. 1-0 pitch. Jaron turns on that ball and fouls it. Now 1-1 one and one to Jaron. I mean, especially when you have the New Mexico Super Fan of the Year that's sitting right in front of us questioning... That, those pitches, then... In, like doing the shoulder shrug? Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know. One ball, one strike, and one out. 1-1 one, one pitch. Low for ball two. Okay, let's go now. Jaron with a hit by pitch, a double, and a single. Been on base all three times today. And right now, you're just looking for Cougars to get on base and see what you can do here with one out in the top of the ninth. Hudson with the 2-1 pitch to Hall. Chopped foul once again. Now 2-2 two and two to Jaron. Well, guess what starts next week, and it's the worst time of the year for me, <laughs> Shep. That would be spring football. Mm-hmm. Jaron Hall will be in a QB competition. I mentioned this the other night. He, When he got into games for the football team, he showed some elite 
speed. 2-2 pitch, high and inside for ball three. He was pretty spectacular when he got in the game for the BYU football team. Best half of football yeah, we from the quarterback all position yeah, played all year. was the first half at Utah State. Yep. Jaron Hall was unstoppable. Yes, he was. And unfortunately had the concussion and didn't play the second half. Second half. I'm glad they're getting him a fair shot here in the spring to go out there and win it, which means we're going to have him less <laughs> than we wanted because of it. But, hey, let him go compete. Payoff pitch to Jaron Hall. Popped up deep in the left center. Mang there makes the catch and retires Hall for the second out of the inning. Now BYU down to its last out here in the top of the ninth inning. The hitter will be the catcher, Josh Cowden. Shep, in almost any ballpark we play in this year, that's a home run. <laughs> he caught that in the gap on the warning track where it's 405 feet, which, oh, man, so frustrating. What's such a big yard here? And with no win today, yeah. it's not helping the situation. Yeah, no kidding. Two outs, nobody on. Hudson to Cowden. Strike one to Josh. Four nothing lead for New Mexico. O one pitch to Cowden. Misses away. One ball and one strike. BYU and the Lobos will play again in about 30 minutes. Depending on what happens with this at bat. BYU, can they get a two-out rally down 4 nothing in the ninth inning? I've seen crazier things. If you just don't make that last out, it's a crazy what can happen in college baseball. It's not impossible. Two balls, one strike, and two outs. The 2-1 pitch to Cowden. Swing and a miss for strike two. And now the Cougars down to their final strike. If Cowden can get on, the batter would be Zach Peterson. But Josh has got to get on base. The 2-2 pitch to Cowden. Good take. Low for ball three. Hey, find a way on. Cowden, get the next guy up. Cowden steps out of the batter's box and will readjust and take a couple practice swings and now step back in. Hudson on the mound. Set to deliver the payoff pitch. 3-2 on its way. Strikeout called on the inside corner. And that's how this game ends from Santa Ana Star Field. BYU falls 4-0 to the New Mexico Lobos. We'll take a break, come back and wrap things up and get you ready for game two after this. 4 nothing. BYU drops to now 5-5 five and five on the season on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.